Hey, welcome to Hashtag Trending, the trendiest show in the history of Press TV. Well, according to our gaffer, who also believes the moon is flat and that given enough care and free lessons, cows can develop the ability to speak German. <laughs> I'm Fabs and here are the stories we're keeping our eyes on on today's show. And our main story, if you haven't already figured out from all of this, is the COVID-19 pandemic. Allow me to first disinfect this germ-filled tablet and then we're all good. All right, let me come clean here. This thing is absolutely driving me crazy. I can't wait to go home, take it off and burn it. You see, the first 30 seconds of this is all okay. There's this warm and fuzzy feeling here, immediately replaced by an awful itch and anoxia. Still, wherever I go, in any circumstances, I wear this because if we all do this in public settings, then the pandemic is as good as contained and we can go about our businesses and, you know, go back to normal life. Aren't you tired of all these things? Anyhow, seven months into the pandemic and unfortunately the number of deaths are ever increasing. Here in Iran, new measures have been introduced to help slow down the spread. The situation is also grim in other places like in the US, the UK, Europe in general and Australia. So the point is, wear a face mask. There are two types of people in this world. The people who wear a face mask and the type who don't. And I sincerely hope that you belong to the former group. All right, it's time to shame some of the face mask deniers on social media. We start on Twitter. This is the way owner of Seated Table, Naples, Florida, plays with people's lives. Nobody inside was wearing a face mask. Nobody. This is the Trump effect. Check this out. All right, my, my suggestion to you is that if you ever happen to be in this sort of situation, just leave the place, all right? To this one, on Cover Road, an Indian woman was beaten up by her male colleague after she reminded him to wear a face mask in the office. Just don't wear a face mask. Just get a disease, we don't care, all right? Stop, chill. What's the problem? Okay, uh, to the next one. Um, this user wrote, how about some Mac punch instead? Customer beats McDonald's employee in Hong Kong after being asked to wear a face mask. Here's the video. Dude, chill! What's the problem? You don't want to wear a face mask? Just don't do it, all right? Chill! That's the first lesson. All right, to the next comment, if it finally loads up, and here it is. Uh, Toronto Fresh Coast employee spit shines grocery baskets. And that would be disgusting even without all this COVID-19 business going on. Check out the video. <laughs> Thank you very much, you taught us a new way to clean our stuff up in the house. All right, to this one, Disclosed TV wrote, many thousands of anti-COVID-19 protesters marching in Berlin intentionally without masks and social distancing amid rising coronavirus cases in the capital of Germany. Check this out.
Banksy did it again, and boy, didn't he deliver. The British graffiti artist visited the London subway, dressed as a cleaner, and sprayed these graffitis there, simply to urge people to wear face masks. Apparently, Benjamin Netanyahu, Israeli Prime Minister, is not only bad at handling the economy, he is equally as bad in handling the coronavirus crisis. Or at least, this is what 10,000 people were shouting outside his official residence a couple of days ago. Netanyahu is uh, neck deep in corruption charges, has driven the economy to the point of collapse. People are unhappy, extremely unhappy. Alrighty then, time to check out social media reactions to the story of uh, Mr. Netanyahu. We start with the man himself, Robert De Niro. No, it's not him. A long banner hung on the side of a building bearing a single Hebrew word that means we've woken up, describing the protests or possibly an entire generation of Israelis. Is this the beginning of an Israeli spring? Is this? I don't know, we have to wait and see. To this one, in Israel again, protesters gathered outside the official residence of Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in Jerusalem Al-Quds on Thursday, as they called for him to resign over alleged corruption and poor handling of the coronavirus outbreak. Here's a video of the protest. These protests have been going on for weeks now. We have to wait to see if Netanyahu will finally step down and meet the demands of the protesters. All right, to the last one. Jimmy Lee wrote, the Netanyahu regime has lost its legitimacy. Check out the video. All right, it's time to end the show now. If you liked our content, make sure to tell your friends about us. You can also give us a follow here and here. Till next week, bye-bye.